What's up, mechanics? Happy Tuesday. Welcome back to another episode of Tool Tuesday here at the Vim Tools headquarters. We've been a little spotty with our episodes recently. Uh, just a lot, of, lot going on. Beginning of the year, we're getting back to our scheduling here. So um, today we're talking about drivers. We're going to do a hard line uh, series. Probably the next two weeks or so, we'll be talking about socket sets, um, driver sets, because we don't show them enough love, and that is a staple to our line. It is honestly what Vim was known for for the longest time, was bits drivers. We also want your opinions on some potential changes that may come up in the future, and some decisions that need to be made as to what we do moving forward. Yeah, because we're gonna be reworking some sets. You know, I, I'm sure you have seen the SMS 600, all of our foam sets. Um, we've heard some complaints about them, some people that said they don't want the standard sizes. Uh, when they only need metric, why buy a master set that has standard? So we're going to be reworking them. We want to know basically, you know, how would you like it laid out? How would, what would you want included? We're going to be talking about a few of those things in the next coming weeks. Because we have, what, about eight months inventory left before we have to make anything else. And uh, this is the time to make a certain decision as to what you do moving forward to have that lead time to work with. Because if you decide when you run out, you're kind of screwing yourself. Um, that being said, I want to assure everyone, when we make these changes, that doesn't mean you don't have access to what you did before. So the warranties and open stock is not a problem because we will still have all those part numbers available individually. It's just the set itself, the contents may be changing. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, for instance, a lot of times there's, um, if we have a master set, there are other subsets that include those pieces. And just because the master set may be gone, all of the individual pieces are included in other sets, so we still have them in inventory, and we stock them regularly uh, because they are in other places throughout our line. And in one instance, you'd see some of that in the sets we're going to talk about here. Exactly. So you've got Torx, I've got Hex. Yes, so what we essentially have on the table here are four sets, a old version of our Torx sets and a new version of our, old version of our Torx and Hex sets, and then a new version of those two sets because... These were the OGs, if you will, and we are superseding them with the new version, which are currently both available, but we are going to go through the old stock first, and then we're going to completely transition over to the new one. So I want to talk about all of them and what makes them a little different, because there are a lot of driver sets on the market. So before we get into these sets, um, as I'm sure you guys know, because we've said it a lot of times, these are all made from S2 steel. Uh, pretty much everything that we make is from S2 steel. Even our screwdrivers, our screwdriver blades, blades are made from S2 Steel. It's a big part of the Vim brand. We even have our own S2 logo. Is it not on that hat somewhere? It's right here on the shirt. S2 logo. And we do that because we have to identify our S2 compared to others on the market. Because you can go to many other brands and find uh, made from S2 We're Steel. We're not the only people making things out of S2 We're not, Steel. Yeah. We're not. Um, it, but S2 Steel itself is a, obviously it's the material that, it, that it's made out of. But the hardening process behind that S2 is often what people don't consider when deciding whether to go with this version or this version or this different brands. Uh, our S2 is all basket heat treated, which means it is placed in a basket in an oven that is heat treated evenly so that it all comes out, the, it all gets heated at the right temperature, it comes out evenly, and that you have a consistent batch. Whereas most brands, especially the more economical brands, will have the it belt heated. The more mass production. Correct. Brands, we'll so. have it belt heated because that is a cheaper process. It is a much better process for mass production in terms of profit because it's thrown on a belt and it is brought through an oven and passes out the other side. Now that might seem effective to some, but you're heating one side more than the other. It is not getting evenly heated. Some, some sets may roll around, so you're going to get uneven batches throughout the entire manufacturing process. Whereas if you're basket heating it in one oven, you're, it's taking you longer, yes, but you're ensuring a consistent evenly treated batch. And that's not the only thing. Uh, and we've explained the whole history with Vim Tools and the metallurgists that owned the company beforehand and playing with the heat treatment process for S2 Steel and finding that right mix um, of proprietary processes for heating uh, and treating S2 Steel just to come up with the strongest possible socket or driver that they could. And you know that process is still in place. We still use that and the S2 logo has been around since that process was put in place. Um, and the only way that we could really prove it to you is A, on the break room, which we've done, I think, a few times with the sockets or some drivers, but we have to stick to small sizes because we can't break the larger sizes of these drivers. There it is. Um, and if you want, I would say, if you have a set, you know, throw it up against the 
a larger brand like Snap-on. See how they see how they hold up against those drivers because we're pretty positive that these these are the strongest drivers on the market. They run with the big boys. Let's just say that. And uh, another clever marketing tactic that I want to point out that some other companies use is that this, for instance, right here, I want to show something like this. As you can see, this is obviously a two-piece driver. Now, a lot of companies will claim S2 steel on a two-piece driver, but the bit is made out of S2 steel, the smaller part of the overall piece, whereas the, uh, the socket itself is made of chrome vanadium. So you actually have a chrome vanadium piece that is not totally S2 steel, but they're claiming it's S2 steel because that is a marketing feature in which they can sell more of them by making you believe that it holds up to the same quality as other S2 competitors like ourselves. It's the same reason why if I give you the same ingredients, uh, if I give you ingredients to bake a cake and I have the same ingredients myself, I bet you that cake comes out differently for you and for me. Uh, and a professional chef's cake is going to taste a lot better than the one that I bake. Especially because you're using cheap crust. <laughs> it's not cheese stuffed crust. <laughs> All right. Um, anywho, that is our spiel on the S2. And uh, what makes ours a little bit different in terms of the actual quality of the product? Our defective rate actually proves that, given that we publicly claim our defective rate is less than 2%, when it, in reality it is actually closer to 1.4%. Um, but saying 1.5% or less is kind of cheesy. So we say 2%. But Either way, not a lot of hand tool companies can claim that they have a defective rate that low. We can, and we're proud to stand behind it. That being said, let's get into the contents of these kits. The torque sets are what we're going to start off with today. This is the TMS 34PF. This is the OG set, one of the originals, that has been true and worked for us for a lot of years. It includes your tamper-proof, your regular torques, as well as your e-torque sockets. You have a pretty comprehensive range of sizes in here. This is a great go-to set for anybody that is getting into a market where they need a lot of torques. Again, they're all S2 steel. They hold up great. If you have them, please comment on how well you've done or your experience with any of our two-piece drivers, or for a matter of fact, one-piece drivers as well. Um, I gladly welcome feedback because most of it's positive and it definitely inflates my ego. <laughs> TMS 34. This set, we've gone and upgraded it to the TMS-40. The TMS-40 here includes e-torx, torx drivers, long and extra long drivers in both regular torx and ball torx. So you have a lot more variety in this kit, even though it's all just torx and you don't have the tamper proof, we found that the tamper proof are obviously less popular. We have them available in a subset, so selling a full torx only master set would be a better option for us. It's an updated torx master kit. Our BTXL 400 is pretty popular, which yes. is just extra long ball torques. Yep. And this includes the most popular sizes. For those of you who don't know uh, ball torques, the T20, is. the T25, and the, and the T30 ball torques. Those are all six inch yep. long drivers, but you also have four inch long drivers in a T25 or a T10 through T25. And for those of you who don't know, this set alone has three or no four separate T30s in it, which obviously T30 is the most popular. This kit is a lifesaver when it comes to people dealing with torques a lot. Boom. That is the TMS-40, which will be the superseded version of the TMS-34PF. Now, we still have TMS-34s, and we will still have them for a little bit, but I just want to give you an idea of what's happening in the future. These are both currently available, and you will start seeing the TMS-34 as well as the HMS-26 that Michael's about to show start being promoted on tool trucks because... This is the end of the life cycle, and we want to give you guys a chance at getting in on a great product while we still have them. And it's the same deal with the hex. I mean, you can see our older cases had this like different style, and now the newer cases are a little bit more heavy duty, uh, and they're also a little bit larger because they include some more pieces. Yeah, For example, more. this is a 26 piece set. This one goes up to 32. There's a few other reasons why it would need a larger case, and I'll show you in a second. But this is, now we've always said, you know, we don't have a lot of half inch drive stuff, but within these sets, you will find half inch drive. So like- Coveted BIM tools half inch. There are 19 millimeter metric hex driver is a half inch square drive. And that goes all the way until you get down to the eight, nine, nope. Nope. nine millimeter. Yep. Yeah, because the 10 is where the three, is, the half inch starts. Dang, 10 millimeter on a half inch. Uh, so anyways, for in this set, you have both metric on the left side and SAE on the right side, two and a half to 19 millimeters or an eighth up to three quarter. All full S2 drivers, uh, super strong. 
this is one of those sets that really kind of propelled them into uh, the whole green and black and and all the new products that we've had. This is kind of what kept them popular for a long time. I'd say there's like what maybe thirty to thirty percent, forty percent of line has made it from the era of blue through the black into the green and black. Um, this these are these are some of those sets. Like just so you know, like in the two thousands before two thousand twenty, when you know we started expanding our product line a lot, this these sets were ninety percent of Vim's sales. The drivers in general, yeah, but not just these. We well, had other driver sets, but yeah. Well, yeah, okay. I mean, but that's what I'm talking about. Sets like this. This was drivers, our bread and butter. This is what this, this is what Vim that. does best. But we've become known for the gadgets because we've released so many. Since we've been in the public eye, we've only ever really released a lot of cool, uh, unique, patented, first-to-market products. Like that's what people know us for. But before that, before all the fame. <laughs> this is what Vim was known for. <laughs> Anyways. Now that we've got your eye, we're going to start showing <clears throat> some of the drivers. HMS 26, okay? And there's something else I want to point out that I have nobody else is doing, and we're thinking about the tool truck guys on this one. QR codes for parts uh, breakdowns. breakdowns, parts breakdowns. So, and, or even if you're a tech and you bought the set and you, know, you need to warranty a piece, you have a parts breakdown right here. So you can tell your dealer the part number and it all it brings up a list of the part numbers and a description of each um, right there on the case. So pretty useful. The updated set, the HMMS 32, this one now has extra long drivers. Um, although, like I said, we were gonna do with the SMS 600 and 400, we were considering all of the people who said that they don't use standard sizes a lot. Um, so this set is now all metric. This set will go from two and a half up to 22. So the last set went up to 19. We've brought that up to 22. And now you have six inch long drivers, three millimeter up to 10. These are all three eighths. And again, you have, you know, some half inch drivers in this, but we've updated the finish on all of these sockets. And I included they look... one of the old ones so you could see the difference. There you go. So flat to satin. The quality is the same, but we wanted to really show when you look at them, you can just see like, oh, that's a quality set. And you know, this was a really strong uh, driver to us. It just didn't do it with the looks because we I wanted mean, it to match. Look, when you're using tools, obviously your first point is primarily you want a quality piece. I mean, granted there's prices factor in there, but you want value. You want a quality piece when you're working with tools. Now, much farther down that list, but much above everything else, you want them to be sexy tools. That's why we focused on also making them look good. They yeah. work well, they've always worked well, but now they look good. Yeah. And this is actually a full metric kit, and what we didn't mention is that we will be bringing in the SAE version, which is smaller and includes less sets for those of you who still do use SAE, but it'll be an option for you as opposed to a requirement when you're buying this kit. So now you can buy your metric set and not worry about the ICE and vice versa. So you'll have both available, but now you have the option to purchase whatever you want instead of having to buy all of it in one. And you can tell when you, if you get onto a tool truck, you find the set, just pick up one of these sockets. You can feel these things are hefty. I mean, heavy. And uh, heavy they touch. are, again, full S2 with a proprietary Vim treatment, okay? This went to I mean, the Vim spa. We're on trucks and there's other brands on trucks. So go on trucks. Find one of the kits, get an equivalent sized kit from whatever other brand, pick them both up, and you're like, well, there's definitely more meat in this one. It's just, it's just how it works. And we're gonna, we can, we'll continue to try to get our products onto test pages here on YouTube. Uh, we've reached out to a bunch of them. None have been very receptive so far. So we're gonna keep trying because we can do as many tests as we want. You're it, skeptical. Everyone is skeptical, and obviously so because the company that is selling the product is also doing the testing and putting you it out. You should know want us by testing. now. We've been here for years doing yeah. this. Yeah. I feel like we're family, but you know what? You don't trust me, whatever. No, we're gonna continue to try. We have so many other driver sets, bit sets, like little things um, that are S2 and are incredible quality. And we're gonna be showing that over the next couple weeks. Yes, and then as per usual, later on in the year, when we fill up our sacks of new products again, we'll start slamming you with new products all over again. So, are we gonna do questions? 
Uh, no, I'm not doing questions today. We don't have a lot of questions because we honestly skipped an episode last week and I, the week before was a very short one. Uh, so if you have questions, leave them down in the comments section below. And next week we will make sure to get to all of them. Now I want to, it's not to say we're not going to answer the other questions that were asked. We will, it's just not today. Not today. But thank you guys for tuning in and watching this episode. We will see you next week. Peace.